looking all around and seen is dismal at its peak. AIDS, drugs, and violence, the epidemics of my street. Poverty written, money driven, it's a wonder how we breathe. White flight and red line, and all that's left is you and me. No resources or careers, works precarious at best. High rates of unemployment, low education, and arrest. So they dub us the underclass, saying we're underclassed, subculture of the community. Dima's ghetto related and tell us our problems, family unity. Family fucking unity? Ain't that some shit? What about minimum wage? What about the second shift? What about psychological effects of Jim Crow or the whip? You see, they leave out admitted variables, and when you ask, they plead the fifth. This price of poverty is high. Go ahead and ask Dohan. Be sure to mention living wages by way of washing pots and pans. And since we're on a topic, let's dissect the culture of poverty. Because this deviant reason culture is really something that bothers me. This topic is in depth, so I adopt Lewis's philosophy in order for this culture to exist. There has to be a cash economy. Meaning wage, labor, and production for profit. Lack of and underemployment and jobs that don't pay shit. No safety net for those who broke an American dream which births false hope. Subculture with divergent values, is that what you want me to believe? Sounds like Charles Murray meets Lawrence and me. My town's in need, but they don't seem to hear us crying. If unemployment went down, it's because niggas stopped trying. Well, at least in a sense. We sell dope for the rent. Probably buy fancy cars with some rims in a tent. Is it a lack of common sense? Or is it logic at its best? I'm making something out of nothing, trying to keep up with the rest. But this is why America in my shade is, well, too past gray. So they make a war on drugs, trying to lock my ass away. But think about it for a second. Really stop and ponder. If they privatize the jail, there's a reason why we're under. Where was the war on drugs when powder coke was at its high? When white people use, they seem to turn the blind eye. As soon as coke turned cheap and forms a rock on the street, laws seem to pop up like videos on MTV. So they put us behind bars and they give us PFNs And the saddest part about it is this nightmare doesn't end Because now I can't get a job, it's the mark of a criminal past Did the time for the crime, but these stigmas still last Recidivation is high, this penal system is a joke They don't rehabilitate, but my rights are revoked? Now I can't vote? I don't even have a choice How can I fight back if they done took away my voice? Discrimination exists, still blatant as before. Just look at the population and racial ratio of the poor. And go ahead and say it's better than the 60s. At least they saw it coming as embedded as can be. It's even worse if you're a woman, credit to the gender legacy. You know those unwritten laws that explain how women ought to be? Misogyny? I summed it up in eight letters. Whichever race you are, your male counterparts will have it better. And by all means, they portray welfare as the helping hand. But that same system which claims to help aims to tie both hands. They force you to get a job, regardless of your wage. And they labor you an intern so no benefits are paid. They drive down your wage and won't let you pick your days. Got you feeling like a pawn because you just got played. This welfare to work is bullshit at its finest. Simply a creation of low-wage workers and a failed attempt to try to hide it. The test of my intelligence like an IQ test I'm just waiting for the masses to stand up and protest It's time to take action, we need to take a step Back to Africa didn't solve it, just ask those who left The problem still exists and running isn't the solution I'm sick of slow improvements, we need a revolution And before you go off me like they did Malcolm X Put yourself in my shoes, walk a mile of my steps See if you can make it without being ghetto related This country you claim to love, watch how fast you start to hate it now go ahead and say there's a difference of blacks and whites. Only difference I see is our chances in life. If every Tyrone or Laurent got to go to Yale, I guarantee the population would shift for blacks in jail. But our numbers in college always seem to fall short. Cal is 4% black, and half of that plays sports. In order to go to college, my best bet was to be a baller, because if you're not making the money, they won't invest a ripped dollar.